Welcome to the Everything Podcast, Season 3, Episode 99, recorded on the 13th of April 2024, released on the 23rd of April 2024, so as I've mentioned uh, previously in these batch batch of episodes, so what I kind of have, I'm now going to have one recording day, so I make sure that I have, like, I record seven episodes um, a week-ish, like there might be six or eight or... Uh, because it's like it, it's basically got to do with Duck 2, which I will explain in a future episode because there was a particular reason why I have blocked these episodes together. Uh, so in this block, in this recording block, which will obviously be about the days, will be from when I return. Uh, we've had The Outlaws and Wonka, which were your suggestions, and I in yesterday's episode I reviewed Into the Spider-Verse, and I explained the pillars of the podcast, which is, sounds very strange, uh, but uh, yes, so those pillars, just a reminder, our neighbours, Doc 2, DC and Marvel. And uh, for the remaining three episodes of this recorded block uh, is uh, DC movies. Uh, 23 movies. Uh, there will be one after these three and, one, and The Flash, which is a later point just because of the length of it. It's significantly longer than uh, the movies that I'm talking about in this episode, tomorrow's episode, and uh, the day after tomorrow, in these three episodes. Um, but that's kind of it, DC movies-wise, until, like, July 2025 with Superman Legacy, which um, Chuck uh, went, did a uh, chapter, DCU chapter one slate reveal breakdown, which it's, it's like nearly a year and a half out, not out of date, but a year and a half late. Uh, but I just kind of thought, because I, I was revamping the channel, like the description, because it had changed um, slightly since I wrote that. Um, and I was thinking, I haven't really done DC stuff. And I was like, okay, I can do that. What what haven't I reviewed that is recent enough that people aren't going to go, why, why are they reviewing that now? That doesn't make sense. Um, so I went with all the 2023 movies. So they are in release order, not in the order, well, most of them are in the order um, they were released. It's Shazam Fury of the Gods, The Flash, Blue Beetle and Aquaman and Lost Kingdom. In today's episode I'm going to review Shazam Fury of the Gods. In tomorrow's episode I'm going to review Blue Beetle and in two days time I'm going to review Aquaman and Lost Kingdom with the review of The Flash coming up in the near future. Without further ado, here is my review of Shazam Fury of the Gods which I think may be my longest review ever. We, uh, we have the Shazam Fury of the Gods titles. Two Roman soldiers break a museum exhibit. They touch a staff member and gain powers. One of them causes a security guard to attack the people visiting the museum. The two dressed up Roman soldiers use their powers to cause pain to the museum visitors, which includes some of them being turned to stone. One of the stone people is killed. Billy compares himself to the Flash, Aquaman and Batman. Billy confuses a pediatrician for a therapist. The pediatrician believes that Billy is suffering from imposter syndrome. Billy explains his trauma. Uh, uh, explains to the pediatrician. I lost my place there. Sorry about that. Uh, Billy, without superpowers, plays a video game. Freddie informs Billy about an incident that requires them to transform into their superpower forms. Billy says the code wor- word that prompts all of the team to turn into their superpower versions. They all call their foster mother mum. Apart from Billy, they arrive at the incident. Several civilians attempt to not be killed by a falling bridge. Billy saves someone from plummeting to their death in their car. Freddy saves multiple people from dying. 
One of the team members gets distracted by kittens. Team Shazam save a lot of people from dying using their flying, super strength and super speed abilities. Freddy believes that Billy is a psychic and informs some women about this theory. Billy, uh, Billy summons the team to reassemble. Team Shazam weren't able to stop the Foley Bridge from completely falling. Freddy takes part in a news interview. Team Shazam are referred to as the Philadelphia Fiascos. Team Shazam's foster parents are watching this interview. Team Shazam enter their top secret lair that their foster parents don't know about. Billy attempts to lead a team meeting. Mary informs Billy that they saved 162 people. Billy restarts, restarts the team meeting once every team member is present. Billy implies that Mary has no friends. Freddy leaves the team meeting. Each team member apart from Billy and Mary leaves the team meeting one by one. Billy compares Mary to Wonder Woman. Mary, Mary even uh, reminds Billy that he will soon no longer be within the safety of the foster care system as well as the importance of getting a job and moving home. Billy is left alone in the top secret lair. Um, the two fake Roman soldiers visit the wizard who is imprisoned in a cell. The two fake soldiers are revealed as gods as the wizard knows who they really are. The wizard unwillingly fixes the staff for the two gods. One of the gods believes their future actions will be fun. The other overrides them and reveals they have entered war. Freddy uh, crashes into a fellow student. Two bullies introduce themselves to the fellow student. Freddy is assaulted by the bullies. One of the school teachers stops the bullies from causing more harm to Freddy. Freddy walks uh, the fellow student to their classroom. Freddy tells the fellow student about his lunch with a couple of superheroes. Freddy introduces himself to the fellow student. The fellow student called Anne introduces herself to Freddy. Freddy lands on the uh, floor after a ball is thrown his way by the bullies. Uh, the wizard uses his own version of magic. Billy goes on a date with Wonder Woman. The wizard warns Billy. Freddy shows the fellow student where he was sitting when he met Superman. They compare their older siblings. Uh, Billy tells Freddy about his recent encounter with the wizard. Billy uh, tells Team Shazam about the, about the wizard's warning. Team Shazam attempts to figure out who and what the daughters of Atlas are. They're the villains of this movie. Uh, Pedro introduces Team Shazam to Steve, who is a talking... Well, no, like a conscious pen. Not a talking pen, but it, it like, writes, like, you communicate with the pen. Uh, Freddy continues to meet up with a fellow student. Freddy's alter ego introduces himself to the fellow student. Team Shazam insult Billy's intelligence. Team Shazam find out about the events of the first scene of the movie. A flashback scene from Shazam is shown. Team Shazam work out that the fellow student that Freddy is with is one of the daughters of Atlas. The daughters of Atlas attack Freddy. One of uh, Freddy's teachers kills himself because of some mind control. Uh, the daughter of Atlas blackmail Team Shazam. The daughters of Atlas steal part. No, seal. I was right. I read my my review. It was like that's not right, but yes, I corrected it, but it didn't need to be corrected. Uh, so let me re, uh, repeat that sentence. The daughters of Atlas seal part of Earth into a dome. Freddy's in the same prison as the wizard. The wizard is annoyed about Freddy being in the same prison as him. Uh, Freddy suggests multiple escape plans. The wizard declines uh, all of them. Uh, Team Shazam writes a letter to the Daughters of Atlas. Freddy uses the information that one of the Daughters of Atlas told him to his advantage. The Daughters of Atlas receive Team Shazam's letter. Uh, one of the Daughters of Atlas saves Freddy and the Wizard. Billy meets up with one of the Daughters of Atlas. Team Shazam fight the Daughters of Atlas. Team Shazam jail one of the Daughters of Atlas. This Daughter of Atlas has escaped and stolen something from Team Shazam. Uh, Team Shazam even. Freddy and the wizard plan on getting it back. Billy saves Freddy. Billy gets the stolen item on his powers back. Team Shazam reveal themselves to their uh, foster parents. A creature distort destroys Team Shazam's house. Billy chooses to save Mary over collecting the stolen item. The daughters of Atlas seem to succeed in their mission. A lion creature attacks some humans. Some other living things attack different humans. Freddy's fellow student tells Freddy her real age. Billy tries to kill it and Vince and the wizard to withdraw his powers. Billy says goodbye to his foster mother, who for the first time he calls mum. One of the daughters of Atlas is killed. Team Shazam saves multiple people. Team Shazam issues an order uh, to their foster parents. Billy fights the ultimate creature. An army of unicorns help Team Shazam. Billy resurrects the previously dead daughter of Atlas. 
Uh, do, do, do. Billy, sorry, lost my place there. Billy saves Freddy with his fellow student. Billy attempts to outsmart one of the daughters of Atlas. Another one of the daughters of another of the daughters of Atlas even does the same as Billy. Billy says goodbye to his family. Billy successfully defeats the rogue daughters of Atlas. Billy sacrifices his life so that all his family can live. Wonder Woman appears. Billy is alive. Billy meets Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Team Shazam get their powers back. Team Shazam's foster parents have their house back. Freddy and one of the daughters of Atlas seem to be together. The wizard says goodbye to Team Shazam. And Billy means some of the members of Team Peacemaker. That is my review for Shazam Fury of the Gods. I should mention that uh, the 2023 DC movies take part in the DCEU. Now that finished with Aquaman and Lost Kingdom, which will be reviewing not in two days' time. So yeah, um, things a little bit. It's a brand new universe from actually something that's coming out this year, which was talked about in the DCU chapter one. So I'm not plugging it or anything. Um, which is Creature Commandos, which we know is coming out in autumn 2024, before Superman Legacy, which comes out on the 11th of July 2025. That's pretty much it for this episode. Remember, you can also like, comment, and subscribe. Put any comments, uh, put any suggestions in the comments below, or put a comment anyway. Um, and yeah, you can do all of that. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And that's it for the Everything Podcast, Season 3, Episode 99. Goodbye. <laughs>